quick though. None at the moment whatsoever, Declan. We're just building, we're finishing off now what they started about two or three years ago. I think the, the last phase of houses that's been built at the moment is in Avoca in County Wicklow. Yeah. And when they're finished, uh, because of the cutbacks and stuff like that, there is certainly uh, no houses going to be built. What I've been told in the last few days by uh, one of the directors of uh, Wicklow County Council is that they hope to get funding from the government sometime around June, July or August to see if they can buy some houses that's up for sale within the county. And that's the uh, situation at the moment. Let me bring Catherine and Catherine's in Bray in County Wicklow. Catherine, good afternoon. Good morning, or good afternoon, Joe. Um, you say on, on the, the road you live on, there are three boarded up houses. There's three boarded on, up houses on Old Court Estate. And, and is, is um, that a council estate? It is a local authority estate, but it's Braytown Council. And any idea how long those houses are boarded up, Catherine? <laughs> well, some of them from last year. But well, there's two and a half thousand people on the waiting list in, Wick in Wicklow. There's several local authority houses boarded up around Bray. And the reason that they're boarded up, and there's an estate called Fassero, and there's several houses boarded up over there. So it was 12 at one stage last year. And I know the councillors were fighting for to get them open for people. But um, they, they, they always cite the fact that there's no money available for them, you know, for, to repair them. Repair them. And Jimmy, is that true that there would be boarded up houses and they just can't, they say they can't get away with all? There's uh, houses, some houses are uh, closed up for the last uh, two years or more, Joe, to be very honest about it. And uh, they have no funding at the moment to, to carry out repairs in some of them. And yes, uh, other people, uh, you know, they, they seem to, we had a problem here last week and we in the county and they could uh, afford to uh, start repairing a house in the, in the new town area all of a sudden, wherever they got the money from, but, uh, you know, I, I got a house for a girl in the Newtown area a year and a half ago, and I make no apology, apology for saying this to you. She hasn't got the keys of it yet, because they, they keep saying every day in the week they haven't had the money to repair the house. And that's right across the eastern east, east, east uh, part of County Wicklow that I represent. Oh, God. And yeah. how, how are the finances of Wicklow County Council? Surely they benefited it well from the, uh, the, sec, would, the would, second would, property would, tax. You would, you would imagine, Joe. You would imagine, Joe, that if you have a house and you, you um, get it done up as quickly as possible, it's, it's finance to the county council, and uh, that's not happening at the moment. To be very Correct, yeah. in a number of cases. Colette Whelan's in Galway. Five one double five one text. Colette, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Joe. Uh, you work in a hostel in Galway for homeless people. I do, people. yeah. Okay, you um, have a suggestion, but I think Laura addressed it. But anyway, make, you can please make the point, please. Okay, I suggest in relation to the rental accommodation scheme that uh, when you're in a homeless hostel, you don't normally have to satisfy the same criteria as you would normally if you're in private rented accommodation. So it may be easier for her to access Raz accommodation now that she is in a, an actual homeless hostel. Okay, Laura, that Ross scheme you mentioned, the rental accommodation scheme, are you, would you not be able to get on that system? We had tried um, before, um, but we were told first you had to be 15 months in private rented accommodation and we were 14 months and two weeks so they were told that we just didn't qualify but if we were to go back into private rented accommodation that we would have to start from scratch that that our uh, first 14 and a half months rented didn't didn't you know count anymore but we haven't been in contact with anyone in the council in our last four weeks in the hostel, not once. Any time you're ready to speak okay. to somebody, there's nobody dealing with it. They don't actually have a housing officer, so there isn't actually anybody there to tell me what to do. Okay. Okay. Um, well, just around that, around correct, 14 yeah, and a yeah. half months, normally the criteria changes once you move into a homeless hostel and you don't have to satisfy that length of period. Yeah, so, it's just uh, that nobody would speak to so hard when you can't get anybody. Yeah, yeah I mean, we don't know what we're entitled to, what we're supposed to do. Well, you have Jimmy there. Jimmy knows the system. Jimmy, where is it? what's this brick wall that, that Laura has come up against? It's not the brick wall well, of a house you badly need. Well, I, 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 I thought at the time, Declan, or Joe, that she was entitled to go into uh, the Ross scheme uh, because uh, she had been there and unfortunately the situation that existed, she was uh, had to go out of it. But uh, I believe, and I spoke to the people involved in that, and they um, they said that she'd have to be uh, this uh, 15 months and all like that, that she had broken the, the terms of the contract and stuff like that. And I, I also think, and I say this to you as well, I think anyone in the situation that uh, these is in, 
and they're in a hostel there. There should be uh, emergency accommodation mm. for people like that in County Wicklow. Okay. Uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't be this, in mm. the situation we're in, and uh, there should be a house provided. And I believe there's houses there that they, these people should be should be considered and given. Yeah, but Jimmy, as you as you know. Um, even though we have these uh, the, the property stories that dominate our media all day, every day, are about these empty houses and uh, property loans and all this carry on, we still have an astonishingly long housing list all across the country. People on a on a waiting list for houses, believe it or not, local authority houses. Well, it's people, going, it's going, people it's forget going, that, I think. Yeah, well, it's going to get worse, Joe, yeah. uh, because I'll tell you why. Uh, we were getting, uh, when the developments were taking place within the county here at the, at, at the time, you were getting 20% social and affordable housing from them. That has stopped at the moment. There's no, there's no social there or, uh, no okay. developments being Ma- taken. Mary is further down the coast there. She's in Gorey. Mary. Yeah, hi. Um, I, I'm sorry for what that, uh, Laura, that mother yeah. is going through. Um, it's an absolute cruelty to, for that mother that she's going through at the moment. And... Somebody uh, needs to really uh, organise her uh, a little house and a little nest so she can enjoy her young baby. Mm. Um, I, I did. I, I, I went through that. I, I was in living in um, terrible living conditions, and I mean, I'm talking. I was screaming at county councils and stressing myself out, getting very sick, and uh, I don't know who's. Um, I, I actually got a phone number, a phone call from somebody in Ross last week, saying that they'd sent me letters that I'd have to, uh, that my landlord would have to uh, sign up with them, or else I'd be moved. So in actual fact, Joe, I, I was, I'm two years where I am now, mm-hmm. and I, I've done my garden. I've made a home for myself. Um, my child is twelve. Now, why are they annoying me? But when I'm quite happily uh, where I am, why don't they sort out this girl? No, you're it's, saying it's you're an absolute. It's, 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 it's disgusting. But how did you get into the how did you get into the rental scheme? You say you screamed and you 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 you, you made sure they knew you had a baby. And... I, I I got pri- private rented accommodation and got rent allowance, but uh, seemingly in private rent accommodation, um, I, I've been in. This is my fourth place in Wexford. Mm-hmm. So they seem they, they'll only leave you there for about two years and, the, and then they say that, uh, they want the house back and you have to leave again. And But, but my, my heart is, is with this young mother. She, how, how could, the only, the most important thing to this girl is her baby. She's, she's not able to, to, uh, to, to organize housing. That should be done for her. And if, if her... Okay. If a partner can't do it, I mean, why, why is that Ross crowd annoying me, threatening me that they're going to move me on again? Okay, but Laura, in your, se- your situation, is you're now above the threshold for rent allowance, are you? If we were, yeah, yeah. because Jim works, he three days, and yeah. we went to the social welfare to see when we couldn't get anywhere with the council, could they help us? But... They said no, and she said it is actually a joke, the fact that you're offered work and you take it and we're being punished for you it. You offered work and you, you were offered work and you lost your home. Yeah. In a nutshell. Okay. Okay. But as Mary said, you should be enjoying, I know you're enjoying Millie and I know you love her dearly and yeah. you're looking after her, but you should be enjoying her uh, more in the... In the the comfort of your of your own little home, which you had up to quite recently until your husband did the honourable thing of taking whatever work he could get. Yeah. It's a lovely name, by the way. Millie, where did Millie come from? Um, my granddad's sister in oh, Canada. <laughs> it's a lovely name, it really is. Yeah. Um, you're looking after really well, Laura, you know that. Yeah. You yeah. really are. And uh, now I think people, having heard that, there are a number of people involved and people contacting us here will redouble their efforts. Okay. Um, but you enjoy your, your, your baby. Oh, yes. And she's in good health. Yes. She's great, fine. which is the main thing. And uh, James keeps working away. Yes. It's a great... What trade is he in? Um, he's just still gardening. Okay. In the right. country estate. In right. Nothing spectacular, mm-hmm. but it was just work. He was yeah. going crazy sitting in okay. after working all his life. And did you? Where did you work before? Before um, you were unemployed? A hotel in right. Wicklow, yeah. Right. And we know how difficult that business has been That's, in yeah. the last few years. Yeah. Laura, keep the faith, Pat. Lovely. Time. You're a great, spo- a you're, you're great, great spokesperson. <laughs> for, Thanks for a million dollars. And I'd say you're a great mummy. Okay. You really are. <laughs> Millie is blessed. Thanks Millie is blessed. Take care, Joe. 
YouTube. 1850 715 815.